YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, we want to bring forth to the stage a very special guest, the undisputed. Nah, son, baby. And this is it's another episode. Can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. And this is your host. Nah, son, be bad, 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 be bad. Here we go. Microphone, chicka chicka chat, one two one two. This is your host, Nasan Baby, and this is another episode. Uh, Swingers after dark, and I'm with. <laughs> Why well, sound like you forgot my name for a second? <laughs> I hope I, I can never forget. I, I had to keep you in suspense, baby. I had to keep you in suspense. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Hey, and, and, and she and she represent the black, the gold, and the green. Jamaica, Jamaica, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, you know, you know what they say about Jamaican women. You know, y'all will sense you out. Yes, <laughs> very much. So, 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 so you, you, so you gonna whine on this dick? You gonna do that dirty whine? You know, <laughs> the dirty whine. <laughs> Yo, 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 you know, you know, you know how I enter puberty? Mm -hmm. Patra, I used to have a crush on Patra. Like, she was, oh, she was, yeah? yes, I, I like, I masked, like, I masturbated to Romantic Call. You know what I'm saying? When, when she was on the, yeah. I'm in a romantic mood. Yo, so, so, so you gonna talk that shit when we, when we fuck? You gonna take, talk that patois when we fuck? You're gonna just have a weird time, see, don't it? Oh shit! You making my dick hard right now. Oh shit! You you know what? You know what? I, I'm I'm gonna take you out to dinner, right? Cause, Cause you deserve it. I, I'm gonna take you out. Then we gonna you know go out because it's not all about fucking. It's all about getting to know somebody and hitting. It's all about you got to fuck their mind first. Absolutely, I'm a sapiosexual, honey. You gotta you gotta mind fuck me before you get this coochie, okay? Oh, listen, listen, listen. As long as you know I'm not a homosexual and I'm a, I'm a sapiosexual, you'll be good, okay? For a what? A hobosexual. You never heard of hobosexual? A hobosexual? No, what is that? Hobo, okay, the word, you'll know what sexual means, right? Well, yeah. So, hobo is a homeless person. So, <laughs> so when they say hobosexual, that means that you fucking for homes. You fucking for living oh, arrangements see you gonna learn something when you, i know you from jamaica jamaica you gonna learn something from me all right oh uh, you know what i'm saying a person sexually attracted to trap yes person who are sexually attracted to somebody who's homeless or or nowadays unhoused you mm -hmm. know because we can't say homeless we can't say bum we gotta say unhoused Oh, okay, on the house. I'm learning a lot. I see. You said you're sapiosexual, so you're gonna learn something from me. You're gonna learn today, baby. You're gonna learn today. Okay, all right. Yeah, because I'm you... a polymath. You know what a polymath is? No, baby, tell me. Teach me. Teach me. It's someone who loves to learn new things. No, well, I'm I'm almost I'm almost definitely, you know, teach you a little something, something. You feel me? So <laughs> I'm gonna most definitely teach you a little something, something because you know when I flip you. My math instructor. <laughs> of course, I know. I'm, I'm a professor, fucking instructor. I'm a professor. Okay, Professor Wavy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professor. You know, I'm, I'm gonna flip you upside down, toss and turn you. You know, throw you around the bed. You know. Mhm. Mm you Talking know? all that shit, huh? Hey, it's only for you to find out. You know, so. Mm. So yes. But but of course, cause I know when we meet, we gonna fuck. You know oh yeah. Saying? Yeah, we gonna fuck because we what already got. You did. When? We gonna fuck when, when when next time we go out on our date, we gonna fuck. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a massage and a happy ending. Oh my God! Not the massage. Yeah, I'm gonna Listen, give you. I rather go pay for my massage because. I, I I keep getting frustrated because my massages last for like two minutes and then my ass is in the air. I can't deal with that, so I rather go pay for my massage so I can get a proper service. So are they fucking both? Are they fucking both holes? Are they licking and sucking and fucking both holes? Why the ass up in there? 
my shit come in levels, okay? Like, everybody don't get everything. You can't just be throwing out everything to everybody, you know? So, it depends on what's going on and who's at the other end. Oh, well, you know, you know, you listen, it's, it's unde- I'm undeniable. So, you're going to have to give me all three holes. You know, you're going to give me. I don't like, like how you're confident, you see, sir. Now, you're going you gonna to give me, wait. You're going to give me all seven holes. You know what I'm saying? You're going to give me the mouth, the nostrils, the ears, the pussy, the asshole. You're going to give me all That's seven. That's Yeah, seven, seven. Is, you know, seven is godly. That's divine, baby. Seven, seven is, is the... my favorite number. See, okay. see, see? We, I'm fucking you mentally. I'm fucking your mind. You know? No, you see? I'm... You didn't even start yet, though. <laughs> you see? You, you see how that go? You know, you, you be... Listen. So, hold on. Seven holes. But the coochie, the nose, this two, four, mouth, five, ears, seven. So what happened to the eyes? I don't want to take you to the emergency room. But you, but you know what? But you know what? I will come. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to mess up that pretty face. Because nine, I don't know if I want to go from God to born. Because nine is a number of completion. So I don't know if I want to take you from God to completion. But... If you if you're a good girl, if you're a naughty naughty bad gal, I may do the eyes. I may nut on your eyelids. Your you know. Ew. Ew. Ain't no ain't no okay, ew. That sounds gross. Ain't no ew. Ben, 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 ew. Furthermore, I'm not wearing those shit fan lashes, so there's nothing to catch it on. There's no nothing. So not in the not in my face. You're right. I, my, yeah, I don't I don't want to mess up their pretty face because you you like to you like to kiss. Of course. You like you like to tongue kiss? As long as he's kissable. So, you know, how about if I'm balls deep and we tongue kiss while we do missionary? Like I like to be sensual while I be animal. I like to mix it up, you know? But you see, you over there like doing a whole tractor vibe and I'm like a little Ferrari. You lay on me, I'm gonna sink through the bed, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to catch up there, like <laughs> Listen, listen, just follow. <laughs> <laughs> just follow, just follow my lead, baby. Just follow my lead. You know, just just follow my lead. But you know, Caroline. Yeah. Car, Car, Caroline. I'm sorry. I'm calling you, Caroline. I'm fucking up. See, I'm talking myself out of pussy, Caroline. Yes. See, you you be like, whose pussy is this, Caroline? You be like, who's Caroline? Caroline. <laughs> It's close enough. I don't mind. Car- Caroline. Now I like to get it right, baby. I like if if I can't get it right, then I can't do it at all. But you should, because if you say some shit like Stacy, now we having a whole different conversation. I, I won't. I won't do that. You, you got pretty toes. You got pretty feet. So I've heard. I mean, let me see. Pretty. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, they they suckable. They suckable too. <laughs> oh. Listen, people ask to pay to, to do things to my toes. Okay. Um. Listen, I will take you out on a date. I will show you a good time. But I ain't paying for no punani. Okay. So. We'll leave it at that. You feel me? I even run my fingers through. Can't afford to pay for it. Huh? Can't afford to pay for my punani. Because you priceless. I wouldn't want to. You know what I'm saying? You priceless. I can't put a price tag on that. You know? It's priceless, baby. But, but you know, all flirtation aside, all frolicking aside, I all me being Nostradamus and predicting the future of, of, of us fucking aside, because I am going to get all them seven hoes, and if you're a good girl, I'm going to get them nines. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get the, I'm, I'm going to give you the nine from the ten. You know? But you, you, you know, you, you and Club Meet for More. That's how I met you in the group. Oh. And because I'm, I'm, I'm originally from Chicago. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get, we got something in common. So we, we going to get in, we going to get in, we going to get in all that. You know, we gonna get in that. We gonna right. get. I, I'm, I'm most definitely gonna get in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm gonna fuck you so deep. I'm gonna tickle your heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tickle your heart. I'm tickle my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna tickle your heart, baby. You know. What tickle. you gonna tickle my heart with? Hmm. That's for you to find out. Ow. But yeah. So you, you, you like the it girl. You like the the. You, you like that new girl who come to class, who come to the new school. You like the new chick at the at the school, and all the dudes and the and the chicks want to holler at you. Am I right? I know your inbox is blowing up. <laughs> it does. It does. When, when you posted those pictures, I know that shit blew up like dynamite. You know what? You know what? I've I've never 
posted pics before anywhere that just keeps getting the reaction that these pictures are getting in the group like it's crazy like every time i go there's somebody so i'm like people still seeing this how are they still seeing this this has been posted a long time ago <laughs> months and people still comment com- uh commenting and, and and liking it and stuff like okay cool but yeah they have they, they be in my inboxes some are modest <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, you you you, you know you you something else. I, I'm I'm gonna say that because it's very sexy. You know how you you know you have your 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 outfit, your get up, your thongs. Listen, I, listen, I, listen. I, I just want you to pull down your panties and and put them in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? After we go, I just I don't have any on. Yeah, you know, let me see. I don't have any on. Let me see if you don't have any on. Let me let me see some. No. This is PG, you know. I, I'm, a, I'm a. <laughs> Let me see. Nobody can. Nobody. This, 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 me when I say I ain't got none on. Okay. This is audio. This is audio. See, you see how you gonna do me? <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. You see? You, you see how? You see how she gonna do me? But but anywho, but anywho, but anywho. So when did you? Go get thrown off Facebook. <laughs> you're not on Facebook. Oh. Okay. This is a separate. This is a separate entity. Entity. So we could get nasty. You know what I'm saying? We could get nasty, uh-huh. baby. This is separate. <laughs> what you say? Nothing. Now sure. we we could get. Let, let me see a little something. Let me see if it's shaved or if it's you know it's a bushy or something. Let me see something. It's shaved. Can I get, get a little bit of teaser? So you you having me? You having me? Don't make me beg. Don't let me get my Joe to see on and beg. Don't let me beg. I'm too proud for beg. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's oh lord, see you gonna give me the only Lady Caroline. Lady Caroline. Okay, let's talk about that. So, what made you start uh, OnlyFans? OnlyFans. Um. So I started it because, well, one between you and I and everybody else that's listening, I was homeless and I needed to make some extra cash. Oh, so so. So you was a hobo. A so you was a homosexual. I was a hobo. <laughs> so you was a homosexual. Okay, I get it. I was a homosexual for nine months. Yes, I was. Um, and you know, before that, I had a friend who kept saying to me, like, "You need to do it," you know, because I'm always posting these sexy pictures and stuff. And you know, he was like, "You need to do it." I'm like, "I don't want to do that." But then, you know, pandemic and I got bored and yeah, I was going through something. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, I kept mm. getting blocked on Facebook. I kept getting blocked on Facebook and Instagram when I post certain things. I was like, fuck it. You know, if OnlyFans is a place I could go show my titties and my body, then OnlyFans, here I come. And it's been fruitful. Are, are you fucking on your OnlyFans? That's for me to know and you to find out. Oh, I mean, we could do a scene. You know what I'm saying? We could do a scene. You know. You got an audition. Okay, so listen, I know, I know a place in, in, in the Chicago area that you would love. It's sexy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's Where? sexy. I'm not. That's for you to find out. You see how that go? But, <laughs> but, but, it, but. It's the loft. The loft. <laughs> no, it's not the loft. It's it's something like the loft though. It's oh, not. Okay. It's not. It's not the loft though. It's very. It's very. It's dope. It, it's good for a scene. You will want to do it. Okay. You will want to do it. You will want to do it. Listen, don't be rolling your eyes, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't don't be rolling your eyes, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? I can't with you. L- listen, she she yeah. look she looks so good. She making my dick hard. So how how's that OnlyFans? You know, how's it's it going? So f- I mean, I'm I'm not as active on it as I want to because the content that I want to really put out. Um, I can't shoot for myself and usually when I find someone say oh let's do a shoot you know they flake Chicago people are flakers <coughs> um, <laughs> don't talk don't, like, wait 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 don't, don't don't talk that shit because when I wanted to do a scene with you you want some um I don't know so you scary so you get the fuck out of here talking about Thank you. But um, yeah, um, what I really want to shoot is I want to tell erotic stories, and um, I can't shoot that myself. You know, I try. 
So I'm not always as active as I want to, but you know, there's every kind of content for every people ask, you know, I, I care for the, for the, I want to call them my clients, customers, fans, my fans, right? I cater to my fans. So whatever they want to see, as long as it's within my moral, moralistic value, then I will go ahead and satisfy because I'm getting paid for it. Why not? I'll do it free anyway. So I'm, it's just like I'm letting people into my personal space. Okay. How, how did you must up the courage to do OnlyFans? I, I didn't have to muster any courage. I've always been this open person. I've done music videos. I've been a model. Um, yeah, all my shame th- tree done gone through the door a long time. Get chopped down, you know? See, see, so. see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to give her three orgasms. I'm going to give her three orgasms. I'm going to give three. her three. I got to do them, yes. <laughs> I'm going to give her three orgasms. So you, you was born and raised in Jamaica. Yes. You know, my ex, my, my ex is from Portland. Oh, yeah. not Portland. Oh, but not a bush. Yep. All right. Yeah, that, that's on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so where are you from in, in Jamaica? St. Anne. Wait, is, is Portland St. Anne? No. Portland, um, the city is Port Antonio or Port Antonio, Portland. Um, <clears throat> St. Anne is where you would find Ocherius, but the city is St. Anne's Bay. Okay, so are you a yardie? I'm definitely a yardie. Born and raised, come from Jamaica. I want to your man a Jamaica. I come from Born and I only moved here to uh, what, four years ago permanently, but before that, I go back and forth. See, I mean, you could have fucked me for a green card. You know what I'm saying? I could have hooked you up. You know what I'm saying? We could have been married. <laughs> I should have known about you. <laughs> you, you, you. You got kids, Caroline? I have a beautiful daughter. Her name is April. Um, like she's eight years old. I can't believe I have a whole teenager. <laughs> she's eighteen. Eight. Eight. Oh, but so she, so she's eight. She's eight yeah. going on eighteen. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But she's amazing. She's, uh, she's just like me. She's a mini me. She's you know beautiful and smart. She's on top of her class. She's in third grade, but reading on a fi- uh, fifth grade level and math on a fourth grade level. So she's doing exceptionally well, and she's artistic like me. We don't see eye to eye on everything, of course, but... Um, wait, wait, you said she's eight? Yeah, she's eight. She's eight in the third grade. She's in the third grade, yeah. So, so she's like a genius? She's Einstein or something? You sure you know your, your daughter's age and the grade level? I don't know Where about you. Where you she yeah. You starting to scare me, yo. She's in third grade. No, see, she started school when she was two years and four months in jamaica school school here is different from back home we start like real school early see how kids start kindergarten here when they're what five but you you know what the the reason why i'm confused because i started late because of my birthday it was the cutoff day so i was older i was like a year older you know, I was a year older than the other kids. That's why I'm confused. I'm like, what? Eight? You know what I'm saying? Because I remember I, I just turned when I started the third grade. No, you know what? You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I was nine years old. So that does make sense. My bad. Because I was nine years old when I started the third grade. So that makes mm. sense. That that makes sense. I started. I, I was nine years old when I started the third grade and I was 10 when I started the fourth. So that's that threw me off. OK, I, I'm bugging. I apologize. You forgive me, yeah. Carla? Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. you forgive me, baby. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, no, w- what matter was the like I said, she's reading at a fifth grade level and math at a fourth grade level. Oh, she's so smart, she, she's still out performing her grade, right? Okay, so and it's, I, always, it's always been like that, and ever since she started school here. So, how did you make it out of your, you know, all jokes aside, how did you make it out of your predicament? Because I see you're housed now. You know what I'm saying? You're living in a house. You're in a bedroom now. Look cozy. So, how did you become. You want a tour? Oh. <laughs> um. And, and, and fuck, fuck MTV Cribs. That, that ain't got shit on me, me, me. Anyway, so how did you. No shit. It, and it's furbished. Back. Don't let me get up now and start giving you a tour. But anyway, oh, 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 she she's talking. Oh, she is. She is. Listen, listen. She she get a house and don't even know how to act. You, you see how people do? They they act Hollywood and shit. You you see how they do? 
bougie like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you, you see how they do switch up on you. They get a little, get some change and a little, a little bit of coins. Listen, then, honey, I, I might have been a homosexual, but I've never lost my class. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. okay <laughs> I so. went to Catholic school and all, so don't let my, don't let this whore over here fool you. She's a proper whore. <laughs> okay. Listen, y'all, y'all Catholic girls are freaks. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Father, forgive us for we know what it was that. Listen, listen, I, I'm gonna do the cross before I beat up that pussy. Before I kill the pussy, I'm gonna do a Hail Mary because you know, oh, she, she's doing a what, what you call that? The the what do you call that when people in Catholic school do that? What you doing right now? Oh, no, the cross. Yeah, she's doing the cross <laughs> where you touch your forehead and both tip of your shoulders. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna be the Pope in that pussy, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> You gonna pump the pussy? I'm gonna pump the pussy. I'm gonna a hey, car, call me Cardinal Wavy. You know what I'm saying? Call, call me Cardinal Wavy. You feel me? But but yeah. So um, how I got out? Um, well, it was only for a time. You know, it, it wasn't supposed to be forever. I know when you're going through situations, um, things you can't see past where you are at the moment and i think this <clears throat> i'm sorry let me wet my throat, mm. <laughs> my throat it needs some juice <laughs> mm. Mm. Need, mm. <clears throat> yes no um, comment no comment <laughs> anyway what's up anyway talk to me no comment because I, I I don't want you to get too freaky in this bitch. Anyway, keep going. Keep going. See, 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 it was it was getting it was getting so intense that the the damn stream froze. See, look at that. You you listen, 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 listen. You can't play with God. All right, God is like, okay, y'all can flirt on your own town, but don't include me in your bullshit. Put God into this bullshit right yeah, now. don't put don't put me. The Most High is like, listen, don't put me into your bullshit. That's why it froze for that hot. So we gonna leave him out of that. You know, we gonna leave it and we gonna keep it between us and the people who are listening. So anyway, keep going. Um, yeah, so, right, like I was saying, I knew it was for a, a, a period, and, um, the first opportunity that came, knocking at my door, I was like, be sad, motherfucker! <laughs> we, 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 so, how did, so, so, can you, t can you tell them how you, for the, you know, homosexuals out there, can you tell them how you got out of your situation? So, let me tell you, let, okay, so, let me be real. Um, I was going through a, I was just got out of a tumultuous marriage. I was, uh, and that means difficult. Um, yes, 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 yes. When, when you say, when you say college words, you got to break it down for us dumb right, motherfuckers. Right, that's why I was like, oh my God, I'm speaking to a wide audience. So, you know. <clears throat> Listen, we, 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 we the common people. Why, why you, why you get your Hollywood Buckingham Palace on? We the common people. Okay. So you're going to have to dumb it down for us. Keep going. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I was going through abuse. Um, you know, um, new country, don't have my family here. My family is back home. So it was one of those situations, though, where it's like, you know, I have to walk out of this. I don't care about no green card. I don't care about nothing. Like, I have to get out. You know, I want my life. <laughs> So um, I ended up in the DVS, Domestic Violence Shelter, and I went, it was between three, three different ones in like nine months. And what happened was, so they have these programs where they help you to get back on your feet. So they'll pay your first month's rent and stuff. But in New York, guys, listen, what I pay for rent here for my mansion, <clears throat> My three bedroom the, mansion. The, the Buckingham Palace. The Buckingham Palace. So listen, I'll be paying. I can't pay that money in New York for one of these room, maybe two of these rooms put together. I can't. Ladies and gentlemen, when she was homeless, she was Jamaican, but when she got in her palace, she turned English. She become English. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now she like, I'm not Jamaican. I'm English. You, I'm British. <laughs> you, you see how she switched up? Anyway, keep going. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, 
you know, so that's how the OnlyFans thing came about. Like, you know, I was in shelter, but like, fuck it, I was still in school. I go to school, by the way. But at the time, I was doing my degree in communications and media arts. Um, so I was going to school full time. I was going through my shit, but I was still doing my hustle. I'm a diva, okay? So I was doing total life changes where I saw the detox stuff and then the OnlyFans come. This was like, hey, seven ways of income, right? You know, plus I'll be selling my pictures or, you know, doing stuff like that. So the OnlyFans thing was like, oh, great. Yeah, let's do this. Um, and then I met someone. I met someone who, you know, after three days, they were like, you know, let's move to Chicago. And I was like, like, you just met me. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I... That's why she's arrogant because she she's got motherfuckers flying her out to different cities and want to wipe her up and sh- you know look at you. That's- no, no, don't jump to conclusion because listen, wait on the story. All right. <laughs> um, no, wait, no, no, don't don't jump yet, don't jump. Um, so it wasn't like that. Um, it wasn't I'm, an I'm, I'm 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 a leap, goddamn! I'm gonna get froggy on you and leap. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> It was a situation where um, well, I think this person was actually smart because instead of doing it in a personal way, they made it a they gave me a business offer which I wasn't refusing. Um, they needed a life coach, and I provide that service, right? And um, I was getting my own space. You know, my daughter was gonna have her own space and stuff, and it was you know I'd do what I need to do until I'm able to stand on my own footing and I did that in a year started my own business I do communication and um that's how I've been doing it so I don't have a roommate anymore right I signed a one-year contract moved to Chicago took my shit out of storage put it in a 26 foot truck and drove to Chicago wait wait you drove all the way from New York to Chicago right after a freaking car accident can I tell you oh my god yes I did yeah, so, so what uh, the shelter, well, the government, well, yeah. Uncle Sam, fact, goddamn it, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam paid for my truck, but I had to buy the gas and whatever, you know, else expenses. But listen, listen, y'all talk that shit about male privilege. That's female privilege because they give you, they give y'all house and home and trucking when y'all have kids and shit. First like of that. all, first of all, so. Remember I said before where they they um, once you get you have a job and stuff they'll provide your first month rent to move right remember I didn't I, that was like my that truck money was like my moving money okay I I, I okay I'll ride with that so how 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 was it like staying in the shelter because my idea of a, of a shelter is like next to jail you know what I'm saying <laughs> it is motherfucking jail. But it's awful, honestly. Um, you have to report where you're going, and and, and expect, especially this wasn't just a shelter. This was a domestic violence shelter. So you have people there with different stories, and you know the thing is, it, it makes sense and it doesn't make sense because they're they're concerned about our safety. So no one can know where we are. Nobody could drop us off. We have to use designated drivers, and you know walk to the end of the world <laughs> to make somebody pick you up you know sign in sign out you can't smoke you can't drink it's all this uh, people over your head with their fucking kids sharing bathrooms eat nasty food and and and, and it's it's all that you know but on the flip side of the coin it's a humbling experience and it makes you for me it makes me want to push more and not give up because i feel like oh i can't do this like it felt like the lowest point in my life because in jamaica i had a great life right (laughs) i think i had a great life i had a decent career i was touring i was you know i had a good life in jamaica and I'm like, shit, somebody's back home enjoying my comfort while I'm here <laughs> sharing dirty bathroom and having to share bathroom with other people, like other 10 
people use and it's not fair like oh my god it, it grows food and it's just so many rules you can't even let your kid out of your sight for 10 minutes like but but sometimes sometimes life it, it's like it's like a ritual you know sometimes life it, it, it tests you to see if you can persevere big word through the trials and tribulations and see if you're resilient big word you know so it can see that you know you're strong and not weak because life give us gives us tests even when we and when we say we want to say fuck the world and we lose our you know faith and what we believe in we still we still have that inner strength so mm -hmm. i commend you you know i commend you for you know not giving up and not you know throwing in the towel that's that's dope that's not even the worst part my okay. car my car broke down the whole back frame of my car literally broke right so now i had to find thousands of dollars to pay for this and you where it was upstate so you need a fucking car right no car means no work <laughs> wait 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 ladies and gentlemen she's talking about upstate new york keep going upstate new york right um no car means no work right to make matters worse i fell and fucked up my right ankle had bones fracture damn so now i'm on crutches when i tell you it felt like the lowest points there you couldn't get lower than that <laughs> okay just get go through abuse dealing with court separation you know your marriage like this was my marriage not even in my one year anniversary and this was happening i gave up everything for this you know i'm in school <clears throat> taking care of my daughter alone <laughs> right um having to get to work all of that and now this shit happens and they wouldn't even give me painkillers like how awful could people be <laughs> mm. they, they like they like they, they like you from jamaica put some mango sauce on it <laughs> Drink some tea. Yeah, drink some tea or something. Drink some sorrow. <laughs> drink some sorrow or something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm dealing with all this crap, right? And but I kept going. I kept fighting. I kept looking for resources. I kept applying for stuff. I applied for scholarship in school. Oh, I actually got an award just for my. It was it was an award for someone who was overcome has managed to be successful and while overcoming adversity i got nominated by one of my teachers and that's what's up right. congrats so wait so how did you go from jamaica to new york to in the first place so i was on tour so in jamaica i was an entertainer i'm an actress i mc events i host i had a radio show that i was doing I promote events, name it, I've done it. <laughs> I manage clubs, I've done it all, right? Um, I was a video vixen. Um, so, yeah, um, that was my life in Jamaica. So I, I used to tour a lot for plays. You know, I've been to England, been to here in a lot of states um, in the U.S. Um, to perform, been to Bahamas. Cayman, St. Kitts, you know, all those countries to perform. So I was on tour and I had a show in New York. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she thought she fell in love. <laughs> mm. Dumb bitch. I was supposed to go to Canada next on this tour. And I stopped that. I was like, you know what? You know, it's been like after my child's father has been like three years now going four years i'm like okay you know it's time to get back in the market you know i need some dick now <laughs> <laughs> and i picked and pick and go pick up a drunk girl mm, okay i i picked i i picked <laughs> oh my god anyway mm. keep going you you said you wanted some I dick so so, um, yeah, that's what I picked. I met this guy. Picked up a drunk girl? Where at? Don't say 42nd Street because she may be a prostitute. So where you pick her up at? It wasn't a her. It was a him. 
Okay. Um, you know, I met this guy and you know I I, I, I fell. <laughs> so you fell in love? I fell. So you so and you so you fell in love on tour? Yeah. You fell in love with a groupie. Like, come on now, you how you well, fell in love with a groupie? show i didn't meet him when i come to, he came to the show i went to visit a friend and that's how we met and you know it's kind of funny because i liked him you know I... she, she 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 was she was digmatized that's what that was that she could hardly speak you see like she's stumbling dick. i just liked his listen respect is a big thing for me which is kind of ironic because that was one of the reasons why we broke up this respect right but respect is a big thing for me and when we met he wasn't like coming on to me strong or nothing like that it was just he was just so his mannerism he was just respectful and kind and thoughtful and just nice you know yeah you sexy and as fuck when you do that I, I wish people could see your your movements like she why are you not putting out these videos though like you missing a whole audience. You could because a lot of people, a lot of people, it's a whole, it's a whole. A lot of you know what I may, I may do that. Yeah, I may do that. Should. No, we we gonna do it. We, we we gonna do it in person. But a lot of people, they don't, they want to be incognito. You know what I'm saying? If I post this shit, like your shit gonna rush. <laughs> yeah. So it, they, I, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna do video. I, I'm, I'm gonna do video. Matter of fact, you may be my co-host. You know, we can do it together. You know, ow. But anyway, keep, you know, don't. Yeah, we, um, we, so, yeah. Um, chairs. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yes. <clears throat> so um, where was I? Yeah. So he was just sweet. So I fell for that. I like that. That that drew me in. And it wasn't like, again, pushing sex at me or nothing like that. Like, I felt for this genuine person. And um, it was different, too, from what I was used to. Because he used to drive a cab. Like, back home, like, you don't talk to the cab driver. Like, girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> listen, listen. The cabs in Jamaica, they drive crazy as fuck, yo. It's like, I'm... I, I be I be fearing for my life. Like every time I go to the grill for hedonism too, they you know I I, I fly into Montego Bay and then take that hour and thirty minute trip from Mo Bay to the grill. Yo, they y'all Jamaicans, y'all drive crazy as fuck. Anyway, keep going. If you can drive in Jamaica, you could drive anywhere. I, I see, I see, and I will concur. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah, I fell for that person and um. Then we were go. I was going back and forth, you know, seeing each other and doing the phone thing, the long distance relationship thing. And then, you know, it's like, okay, you know, we gonna do it. Um, so yeah. And then I met his evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Gemini. See, see, you, you was, you was under dick noses that you didn't even see the red flags because you was, you was looking through you rose colored what? glasses. You know what? It's not even the red flags, honestly. You know what it is? I think it's a weakness of Aries where we like to see the good in people, and it's also a thing where I felt like. So coming from the relationship with my previous relationships, I always talk to people that are established and. You know, in my circle and somebody I could be trying to aspire to be or something, right? Level up, right? Not necessarily below my standards. And this time it was like, you know what? I've done tried all of this. Let me try something different. Somebody you could grow with and be like, you know, really accept somebody for who they are. As long as they understand that I have some flaws and I'm working on it. They're actively working on it. That's then that's that's someone I could be with. Why not? Because we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I just might be a little more developed than the average person, right? So yeah, you are developed. A chance, huh? You are developed in more ways than one. Ow. Ow. <laughs> so um, thank you. So yeah, um, I accepted him for who he was. He was a cab driver. Okay, so what? He was barely making 
he was even making like five hundred dollars a week, um, and he was driving for someone. And you know, I see how I could turn that. It's an opportunity. You know, I made him own his own business because I'm like, you're a cab driver. What the fuck you need to drive for somebody? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, make him have his own business, do the business cards, all that stuff. Like, you know, level up. Mm-hmm. You know, why not? Um, men always talk about women not doing certain things for them or helping them in certain ways, but you know, that's not always truth because I'd be that kind of person. You know what I mean? So, um, it was just that it wasn't appreciated. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's he wanted it. What'd you say? He wanted a woman to motivate him, but you know, he got one and then he said I was belittling him. Were you were you emasculating him? I wasn't. I honestly wasn't. I mean, I encouraged him to achieve the things. He was a lackadaisical person, and so I encouraged him to like you know. So you say you want a house in two years. Um, you can't wait until two years come before you start making certain moves. So you know, like I signed him up for class, for first time home buyer class, you know, start looking for certain resources. Like I'm that kind of bitch. You know, you say you want something, like let's go get it. I'm a go getter. Let's not this is not sit around and procrastinate. Not saying you can wait two years, but in the two years when you're ready to buy the house, you're fully equipped and you know what you need to know and do to get it. You're prepared. It's not at that time now I'm gonna go open a savings account. Now I'm going to go educate myself about it. Like, you have time to develop yourself. So did you live in upstate? How did you go upstate? Because I moved here. We, we, we got married and I moved here. Well, I moved here first. So he didn't live in the boroughs. He didn't live in New York City. He lived upstate New York. Okay, yes. Before, when I was going back and forth to Jamaica, I, I used to live in Brooklyn. And I used to live in Manhattan, Harlem. How did, you, how, did, how did you get to Brooklyn? I had a girlfriend years ago that. Uh, okay. Wait, wait. Let me listen. You bisexual, like, right? Yes, I am. So I, I thought like bisexual is taboo. I was messing with girls before I was messing with guys. So how did how did that start? Because I know that's taboo in Jamaica and the Jamaican culture. I was, I'm a rebel, okay? <laughs> I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. <laughs> I was always the rebel. <laughs> listen, but real thing though, you know, listen, um, ladies and gentlemen, parents, a lot of times you're so protective of your kids playing with the opposite sex that they are not who you need to worry about. You just need to be conscious period because my I wasn't allowed to really play with boys and and you gave me girls and I played with the girls so so when did you find out you was attracted to girls Uh, maybe when I was seven uh, so what was your first girl on girl experience (laughs) <laughs> you mean like my very very childhood for girl experience? No, 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 no. Grown up experience. Both, both, both of, both of. So when I was a little kid, we'd play a mama and papa, right? And that's like dollhouse. We play, we pretend parents, and there's a kid, and when the pay, when the kid gone we send the kid to school or to go play, and mama and papa have their moment. <laughs> And that entails, I can't believe I'm actually having this conversation. <laughs> Mama and Papa would, you know, hug each other and kiss, you know, you know, not tongue stuff. We don't know about that. You know, we kiss kissy and we rub on each other. <laughs> so there wasn't any boys to play with and we we're playing with girls. And, you know, somebody got to be the Papa, you know. <laughs> Somebody got to be the papa and, and, and you know, so but I discovered from an early age that my vagina gave me a sensual satisfaction. <laughs> oh, okay. At an early age, huh? so you started early. When you lose your virginity? When I lose my virginity, October 2004. I was 15. 
So you young. You a baby. I'm a baby. Yeah, you a I'm baby. I, I got to do the math. So anyway, you a baby. Let, let's just leave it like that. But anyway, because I thought you... When you told me you had a daughter, I thought you was young. You look like you're in your early 20s. I look like I'm a... Drink to that. Yeah, you look like you're in your early 20s. Thank you. you. Know? Okay. I'm 34, though. Oh, you're still a baby. You know, you're still... <laughs> well, you guess what? I'm going to keep smiling so I can keep this face looking young, honey. Yeah, so... So, when... When did you and the dude break up? Like, what was the last straw? So, oh lord. Um. So he knew my uh, last straw. Last straw was he put his hands on me. Oh no. Last. Straw. That's not. That's not cool. Labor Day, September two thousand. Oh, on Labor Day. Put hands on a West Indian woman on Labor Day weekend. On Labor Day, cause I'm ignorant. <laughs> yeah, I, I, how are you gonna put hands on a on a on a West Indian woman on Labor Day weekend, ladies and gentlemen? The in New York as at that because you know the West Indian Day Parade is on Labor Day weekend in New York in Brooklyn. You was in Brooklyn, right? In Harlem, what 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 were you? Well, we were. Uh, I was upstate. Still, still, that, that 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 that's a sin. How you gonna put hands on a uh, not only a woman but a West Indian woman on Labor Day weekend? That's not I don't right. Know. Have you seen these edges? See, so she's talking her. She is. She is. She is. <laughs> she's a cutie, like Lady Caroline. She's a cutie. You know. You can follow me on Instagram. It's the Lady Caroline, or simply Caroline Brown, or that bitch Caroline. Or Caroline Creatives. <laughs> yes, Caroline Creatives. So, so that was. So, what was the argument about? Oh my lord! Okay, so in May, I found out that my husband was having an affair um, with someone that he wasn't even getting pussy from, which didn't even make sense to me. I think what hurt me was the fact that he denied me. Um, he said I was a business marriage and that he only fucked me when he was horny, which kind of makes sense, but disrespectful. He only fucked you when? <laughs> he only fucked me when he's horny. That's what he told his bitch. Um, and, I mean, is, um, he, is he supposed to? Like, how you gonna fuck you with a soft dick? Right, when I mean, he's not horny. Huh? Right? How you gonna fuck you with he? He's supposed to fuck you when he's horny. How you gonna fuck you with a soft dick? Which doesn't even make sense, but it's the disrespect. Um, oh, it's how he said it. Okay. Right. Like you don't fuck with me. You're not attractive to me. That's what that is saying. You're not attracted to me. Oh, I just use her whenever I want to get my rocks off. That's what the fuck that's saying. It's the it's it's the it's the it's the connotation of it. You mm -hmm. know because yeah, you do fuck me when you're horny. You're gonna be horny. It means if she want to have dick, I'm not giving her dick because I'm not horny. That's what all that is saying. It's so mm -hmm. much wrapped up in that little phrase. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, yeah, the business marriage thing. Like, wait, what? It's is why would you even say something like that? Like, there can be repercussions, you know, to stay from shit. Like, you could. What are you doing? You know, and like this, if, if that's what you're saying, then what does this mean? It, it, <laughs> I'm confused. Mm. And I get it. You're just telling somebody something because you caught you. You get caught because he did. She, he didn't tell her she, he was married. He got married, right? This was his son's mom. Mm -hmm. By the way. He didn't tell her that he was. So this whole time he was stringing her along, and I don't know what the fuck I was. <laughs> like when I understand, like it's so stupid. Um, I guess he figured she was never coming back to the U.S. Um, so it, he could still play that card because he's gonna go visit her. I'm like, I don't know. So he he was but, he was West Indian too. 
Yeah, he was born in Jamaica, but he's living here since he was a kid. Oh, so that's that's a double whammy. How huh? both of y'all Jamaican and he beat your ass doing West Indian Day Parade. Like West Indian Day <laughs> Labor Day weekend for the West Indian Day Parade. It's like, come on now. <laughs> at, 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 at least at least beat her ass like that Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? The day after Labor Day weekend. Thursday, Friday, not this, not, not this Sunday, Monday. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so did he beat your ass on Juve or doing a parade? It was, um, it was no that time that year, that year 2009, Labor Day. Oh, it's the Monday, Labor Day, Monday. It was late, it was early. Ugh, fuck, it was the incident happened about 11 45 to one o'clock in between that time. Yeah, she even know the, the town, the date. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, Listen, which is great. I can laugh about it. Yeah, right? it's, it's therapy, but yeah. make sure make sure you you remember the time and date when I make you come. All right, so keep going. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so yeah. Um, so after I found out about that, I was like, but. Um, so this girl called me, messaged me on Facebook and stuff, and you know he had told her, you know all this shit. And she, at first she believed it, I guess she said. And but when she went on Facebook and she's looking at her picture, she is looking at us like, damn, this don't look like no business marriage or makeup shit. Like, dude, look like he happy over here. <laughs> So she's mad because she's like, you supposed to be doing all this for her son and whatever. And I'm like, well, first of all, hold on a minute. Like, he's really not making money like that, you know. Um, and some of these, what you're seeing, like, looking luxurious or whatever, it's because of my effort. You know, not just because he's doing all this shit. So, all right, well. Now, fuck that motherfucker. You my bitch now. So he's... He's old news. You know what I'm saying? So I'm your daddy now. Right. You, you say you playing like, mommy and daddy. Him. You say you playing mommy and daddy. Fuck him. I'm your daddy. You feel me? Right. So, 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 um, so. After I found out about that incident, I was like, fuck it. I'm, I'm like, fuck you. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to keep doing this if I'm a business wife and this and you're not doing all this shit. Da, 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 fuck you. You know, I didn't get married to you for business card, for, for green card. So fuck you, like I'm not gonna stay in this shit. So I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm upset. I didn't. It wasn't that extreme at first. I was upset. What made it? But I was like, I just said to him, like, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. Like, I, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. I was fucking hurt. Like, how could you? You know, I gave up everything. Do you understand that shit? I pack my whole little life in a fucking suitcase and move across the sea. Now the banana boat come over your fear. <laughs> yeah, <that's that. laughs> so so what made you so how did you meet the person wait one second so i told him i'm done so now he started acting up because i'm not giving no coochie no more i'm really i'm i'm turned off right now because he started passing me now he feels like i'm his wife i'm supposed to get pussy when i want pussy like bitch you know whatever like he started getting aggressive right so now i'm like oh my god you know the, the smartest thing is i'm making sure like i make a tab of everything that's happening with me now uh, he's picking fights with me and stuff i guess he but he, he's not hitting me but he's handsy you know um quite handsy and uh getting more and more aggressive right as we go along so what i got i had to go to the er because i was experiencing like bad pain in my chest didn't know what was wrong so i went to the er they you know um they found out or told me that i was diagnosed with uh, major depression and anxiety and shit you know and I realized that he was really the trigger whenever he came around like he was really setting me off mm-hmm. right so now I'm like fuck in my head I'm thinking like oh my god I gotta exit strategy all this shit like how I'm going crazy up here like <laughs> this is all that's going on like fuck and he's driving me crazy 
next week i'm in the er again my head from the moment i left the er that one week to the next week my head wouldn't stop it felt like it was falling off and the neurologist said we can't do anything for you like this is tension headache like you need to get away go sleep on somebody's couch you know he was like put it put it in Mm -hmm. but you know what it is is i couldn't fight back the way i wanted to fight back because i know what was at stake my daughter is american i didn't want to give this man provoke me i'm gonna take a hot pot and lick him over my head and I end up get deported or some shit, and I I, I can't tend to my kid. Mm-hmm. You know, so he kept doing that, and then Labor Day now the incident happened, and all hell broke loose because now um, the judge restraining order, all this shit, and everything go left. My mm. world just like. <laughs> mm. So I met this this person I met. I used to be on live a lot, you know. Just that was my escape on Tag. Do you know Tag? Yeah, that's like an old school website. Right, I'm on Tag. Right, I used to go on Tag lives. That's where I'd go to escape and vent and talk shit. Right, and that's where I met that person. They were always on my live, following me up for a while. So at that point, they were. He, um, that's how I met him, and we just had a nice little connection and um i got that opportunity and i took it and ran to chicago and i'm here so So going to school (laughs) so so it seemed like that your movements is based on your relationship with men uh well it could have been a female too shit so, so did, did your parents ever find it out? Has you to be somebody. So, did your parents ever find out you was bisexual? Oh my God! Listen, the first time my grandmother get called to go to my school because I wrote a girl a letter, a love note, and um, <laughs> she got in trouble, and um, they found a note. And I got in trouble because I'm writing girl love note at school. I went to all girls school. <laughs> and um, yeah, that, that, yeah, would, that would do like, it. That would do it all the time. Oh my God. Listen, I drank a three quarter cups of alcohol because I was like, fuck, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. <laughs> I was drunk when I got to school that morning. <laughs> then I got in extra trouble because I'm drunk at school. <laughs> Oh my god. Look, listen, oh, drinking liquor as an underage. My family did just talk shit. They're like, oh, they know because I was always feeling on people's breasts. I always wanted to feel on ladies' titties. I was like, let me feel so, your titties, please, literally. So, how was how was your first adult girl on girl experience? <sighs> adult? I, I was in high school. I was an adult, but um, that's where um, the floodgates kind of opened. Um, I never forget. So this <laughs> one fine Wednesday evening, I was going home from school, and there was this sports bar that I would stop by because there was this girl called. I should probably give her another name, or could I call her real name? Oh, fuck it, she ain't gonna know. Call her. <laughs> there was this girl named Debbie. Debbie was fine as fuck. She was like this petty kind, low haircut, kind of Jada Pinkett kind of vibe with a, 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 a Diana King maybe face. Mercy, you know. mercy, mercy. When the, when the body, body, body. Shy guy. <laughs> shy guy. Shy guy. So they, they don't know about Diana King. Anyway, keep going. I just was hot, right? Mm -hmm. And um, she was so sweet. So all the time I used to stop by her and stuff. So this particular evening, y'all, company, right? Tell tell, 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 wait, hold on. Tell your group used to stop calling you. You with daddy right now? Keep going. I know you saw that. (laughs) Yeah, tell tell your group used to stop. Inboxing you, you with me right now, goddammit. it. They, it's, All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna call you back. I'm doing an interview right now. Um, 
So yeah, yeah you get um, your, your mind is getting fucked by me now. Keep going. Yeah, and we're like, I'm fucking your mind, but okay, yeah. let's argue in cement. Okay, wait, wait, mm-hmm. you 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 don't let me come in you. No. <laughs> Why not? You ain't gonna let me come in you. Like when we. Oh, you're not my man. You don't get to come in me. Damn. I have boundaries. <laughs> oh, 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 so so you a whore with boundaries? That's what's up. That's what I'm. I'm yeah. still. I'm still coming, you though. You know, but the other thing is, I'm a bigger whore in my head than I actually were in real life. Like I wish the girl in me that saving myself for that special person would whore right now. Cause like, what am I waiting on? Okay. You know, like. Okay, so back to the story, Debbie. Debbie had Marley, you know? this dark chocolate girl. She was like a beauty. She was like a blackberry. So I went there and when I went there, there was this other guy there too. And they were watching porn, right? They were watching porn. And you know, we're there and it's it's a little awkward, but you know, it's like, okay. Then they start like touching on me and kissing me and stuff. I'm like, oh my God. So here's this guy looking at the video and telling them I was an experiment. I was a fucking experiment. I was a lab rat, God damn it. I just had that realization. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh. <laughs> it's a lab rat. This guy was standing there looking at the laptop and telling them what to do. I remember it. Fuck. It was a sunny evening. <laughs> <laughs> About 3 45 p.m. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Listen, listen. If I was there, you could always cry on my shoulder, baby. I'll be your human Kleenex. Ow. Ow. <laughs> so, so what happened with that situation? So what happened with that was, um, oh yeah. So they doing, they lay me out on the fucking pool table. I'm in my fucking school uniform. Can't even say that loud. I'm very sure there might be still be repercussions for that after all these years. There's no evidence. I'm here saying I might be crazy. Anyways, <laughs> I was on the pool table and, you know, they take turns looking my cat and um, it was nice, but I was uncomfortable, you know, like I'm not supposed to be in this place. Like I could get in real fucking trouble. We're doing girl on girl shit, which is forbidden. This is Jamaica. Like, what the fuck? Right? Taboo as shit. Like, how can I enjoy getting my pussy licked right now? Like, it's nice, but shit. Like, could you please let me out? I can't take this shit. It's fucking my head. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm fighting, kind of. You know how girls fight when they want it, but they don't want it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> when they don't want it, but they want it. Um, And, you know, after, I, I, I finally, they were like, you know, give me a break. And I went to the bathroom and then Marlene came in there and she was like kissing me. And she was like going all the way down south, south. And um, she was I, like, I she, she was, she was like, she was like, I'm going downtown. That's the <laughs> way to my love. Anyway, keep going. Mm. So she um, went down and I remember thinking at the moment like, yo, I want this to happen again this way. I like this. You know, I want I want this. Like, ugh, something woke in me. I was like, I want to fuck this bitch again. <laughs> so, um, but I had a boyfriend at the time. And I remember telling him and he never licked my pussy before. And after me tell him, him carry me go around the road and cut me up in the car and lick out the whole of a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's sexy. I, I love that patois. I love that Jamaican accent. That's sexy as fuck. Like real talk. Tell you what, like I said, when I'm fucking the shit out of you before I come in your pussy and your punani, I want you to speak that Jamaican. I speak that Southern shit. And I speak that, and you speak that Jamaican shit. I speak that Chicago shit, and you speak that Jamaican shit. How about that? It'd be a fusion. What's that? Why you have me here sipping? This is like it's a juice. This is Uncle Willie's exquisite blend island punch. L- l- listen, I, I drink, I drink Ray and F you straight. Okay, so I tell you what, when we meet up, we gonna drink some Ray and F. How about that? Okay, so, so wait, so so how did you get to Chicago? I told you I met someone who wanted a life coach, you know, 
I had. Oh, wait, oh, okay, okay, okay. So you said that. So how did you find out about the lifestyle? The lifestyle. I signed up. So before I got here, my friend Adam. Hey, Adam. Um, my white friend in college. He told me about Facebook dating. Um, and he said I should. That's a good way to meet people. So he signed me up for it. And you know, when I came here, that's how I met. Love isn't enough. And um, Tori, I met Tori, who introduced me to the group. Mm-hmm. But I've always been a part of the lifestyle. So, h- how did you get introduced into the swing lifestyle? Back when I had my first boyfriend, my first boyfriend lived at home with his baby mama. The one in New York. No, I said my first boyfriend. That was my first husband. In Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, so they so they get their lifestyle, they swinging shit in Jamaica, right? Oh, uh, oh, swing. You said swing. Um, swing. I haven't swung yet. Okay, so 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 how did so? I would need to swing with my couple, right? I would need to be swinging with my boyfriend. My so boyfriend. yeah, so okay, so you didn't swing, but how did you become a part of the lifestyle? I've always been a part of it. I've always been doing the tree psalms. I was always initiating shit, giving my man, picking up ladies for my man to. Well, uh, that's not that's not that's not necessarily lifestyle. Like vanilla people do shit like that. Lifestyle is more like, you know, it's it's a fellowship. It's more community. Okay, how did you get into the lifestyle community? Let's say that. Right, Tori introduced me to it. Okay. And then I got invited to meet for more. That's where you met me. Look, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, Club Meet for More is the premier swingers group club out in the Chicagoland area. Keep going. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah, they they the they the best group in the Chicagoland I area. I woke up one day and I was in the group, but I was like, who put me in this group? Listen, you gotta come. You gotta come to Naughty Gras. Come to Naughty Gras. What is that? I, I send you the information, but come to Naughty Gras because they they throw they throw two events, Freak Ween and Naughty Gras. That's like they you know they biggest the biggest events that they host. They only host two events a year. I so. don't like going to these events alone though. Everybody treat me like meat. They all want to pick at me like cheese. Like well, you're like little rats, and I'm cheese, and everybody picking at me. Well, you they want to take me home. You could be my date. Yeah, I don't know, cause then I might see somebody that I like, and I'm like, shit. You know, you, you know, you know, how, you don't have to fuck me. I've been in the lifestyle for years. You don't have to fuck me. Like, I'm the the one thing about me, I, I don't handcuff my play partners. Like, see, you could. That's, hmm. That's my thing, though. Um, when when I have a partner, I'm like open, open. But when it's just me alone, I'm not. You know. As open, <laughs> but yeah, just come, come as my date. We'll talk about it. You know, All right. no, no we'll strings. On yeah, the air. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no strings attached. But you know, but how? how they do you say? No, for listen, I'm a veteran. <laughs> listen, listen. Why you? Why you doing whatever you doing? I'm gonna be fucking. Listen, I got my own, quote unquote. You know, my admirers. So you wouldn't have to worry about me. You wouldn't have to worry about me. Okay, with your group is. Listen, Go ahead. With listen, your group. <laughs> authors and podcasters got groupies too. Got that man. So talk about your radio station, your podcast. Um, Exposed with Lady Caroline started in 2016. It's a talk show based on sex, separating the reality from the fantasy, um, sex and relationship, and I cover a wide. I mean, sex and relationship, like, you can't, you can't finish talking about sex and relationship, right? Um, last year, I tried to do it differently, you know, take it to social media, but um, that didn't work out. <laughs> but it's, you know, pretty much like your show, it's very raunchy, you just talk the shit, and people love to talk the shit, they love to listen to the shit, time to time I'll have you know, I'll interview people and stuff, but yep it used to be on Mixlr <clears throat> but my intention is to you know, take it a little bigger than that, you know, I want to do the Spotify and Apple Tunes it's just 
right now time you know there are things that i'm passionate about and i want to do but i always have to prioritize and so like going to school is a big thing <laughs> so talk about caroline creatives that that's your masseuse right okay so caroline creatives is very broad right it covers my communications company i take clients so for example i do taxes right i take contracts with different companies do customer service um so there's that end of it i do events planning so there's carlite and creatives events i have a lipstick and lashes brand ladies 21 different lipsticks sold out on one the army green color olive um 10 different lashes and I also do home care services, um, massage, and I do ladies too, but the ladies tend to shy away. So I don't know, maybe they like men rubbing them. You know, do, do, you, okay. do, you, do you have happy endings? No, but you do leave happy. Okay, fair enough, keep going. Yeah, um, I like to keep it professional because you know you fuck with these men and then they want to mess with your money and I don't want nobody to mess with my listen, money. Listen, l- l- listen, trust me. When I do book signings, my money is my mind is not on pussy; it's on the money. So I feel, right. you. I you feel know, you, baby. Like no, sir, you're gonna mess with my money. I need you to keep booking me for my services. You wanna get this pussy and you are gonna act stupid? Can't afford for you to act stupid because I need my dough. Okay. So, 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 so how's this going for you, the masseuse? It's going well. Um, you know, some weeks below you have your highs and lows. Um, some days I have couple, you know, I'm booked for the day. I got a couple, you know, two, three massages in a day. Other day, you know, it might be none, but it works out, you know. So do your clients have a busy schedule? Do your clients try to play with you? Um, sometimes yes but i love a respectful client like i love i, I kind of like when they I, I know they want to but they are respectful like respect is really a big thing for me it's a turn on when they try to do the most it's a turn off and i don't want their money <laughs> it's, it's, but but you know it, it's like i know in, in jamaica y'all always say respect you know, respect is big in Jamaica, so I know this. Jamaica is very big on respect. It's our culture. Listen, listen, I, I would have been scared of you if you said you were from Tivoli Gardens in Kingston, Jamaica. I was like, I don't know if I could deal with this chick if, if she's from Tivoli Gardens. You know what? When, when I used to, I stopped doing it, but when I used to fly into Montego Bay to go to Hito, I used to always say, I'm Dudas. I'm Dudas. And, and, and the security guard was like, yo, do you want me to arrest you? Do you want me to take you to jail? Like he said, yeah, like, and, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, ladies and gentlemen, Dudas. For those who don't know, um, I think his name is Christopher Coke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dudas is D U D U S. He's like a, a big town Jamaican drug dealer who had Kingston, Jamaica on lock. Now he's serving federal prison time in the United States. But I used to say, "Yo, I'm Dudas." Like the women, the women airport workers, they used to laugh it off. But the male worker was like, yo, you want me to take you to jail? So ever, ever since I said, ever since he said that, I'm like, yo, I'm not saying that anymore. I'm like, yo, I'm Dudas. <laughs> this was joking though, because everybody knows Dudas is locked up. They know you're not. Uh, no, 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 no. He was fucking with me, but but it was it was him telling it was him telling me in a in a roundabout way in a joking way, yo, don't say that out loud. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, but um, so what do you think about the lifestyle so far, like? Now you're in the community. I know you said you did threesomes back then, but when you're in the actual community, what do you think about, you know, I know, like like I said earlier, your your your, your inbox is blowing up because you got some, you took some sexy ass pictures. So I know your inbox is blowing up. So how do you deal with the ladies and the dudes? And the- so, you know, if anybody wants somebody to take some sexy pictures of them, I, I, I'm a photographer as well. L- listen, you know, listen, 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 I'm, I'm going to be your... I'm gonna be your talent for your OnlyFans. I'm not gonna flake out on you. I'm gonna be there on the dot. You tell me you be there at six, wavy, not son. I need you to be there at six. I'm gonna be there at five fifty. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yes, and we are gonna do the damn thing. We are gonna do a scene together. So it's gonna be hot as fuck, yo. But we'll talk about that off camera. But anyway, so 
So how how do how they treating you? Um, it's okay. I you know people are friendly. They're cool. A little too friendly sometimes. <laughs> So what you mean a little bit too friendly? You know what I don't like? Wait, you know what I don't like? Let me let me talk about this. See, y'all ain't gonna like this, but I gotta I have to talk about it. So like, okay, so y'all see me, right? And y'all attracted to me and you just wanna take me home. Don't you like think about if I like you too? No, that's not important. Like Nobody but, but, cares about that shit. They just like, I see the ass. I'm taking but the ass. You, you, you know, you know, it's, it's funny you say that. You know, even though I'm flirting with you and I'm frolicking with you and I'm talking my shit, mm-hmm. all jokes aside, we got to see if, if we're compatible. You know what I'm right. saying? Because because what we gonna like, what we gonna do before the sex and if we get to that point, then it's what it's after we, yeah after we bust that nut, then what we have to have a conversation. We gotta. We gotta like each other genuinely. It can't be just about the sex. And who's to say you may be crazy as bat shit and we're not gonna be compatible and we gonna, you know, it, it's all the, at, at this point in our awkward. life. Huh? Awkward. It's gonna it's gonna be awkward. So when we go out, it, it, we have we need some type of chemistry. Yes, we I wanna fuck and you may wanna fuck, but at the end of the day, we have to like each other on a human on a human level. And see, my coachy don't just get wet because somebody want to stick their dick in it or lick my coochie like i don't get wet from that like you really i gotta feel you on a mental level i gotta feel your vibe connection like you know i don't i don't just throw my pussy out i want to know your fucking medical history and all of that shit too shit yeah especially uh, you gotta know mine because when we fuck i'm coming to you so we gotta know each other medical history you know what i'm saying so i'm coming you gotta get me pregnant that's what you try to do Wait, Trying so, to have a baby by me, babe. Be a billionaire. Have a baby by me, babe. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, I, I don't know if I want... Listen, my pullout game is A1, so I don't know if I want kids. I love my freedom. I don't know about that, because the people in Chicago, then buckle, we are weak. L- listen, listen, listen. I'm a shy Yorker, so I got the best of both worlds. You know, I'm Chicago raised, New York made, so I got the best okay. of both worlds. Okay, honey, yeah, so, you tell them. So that's why I say we got we got a lot in common because I love to go to Jamaica. I went to college in New York and I'm originally from Chicago. So we got a lot in common. But um but yeah, so how would you want a male or female to approach you in the inbox or on the street or at a party even? I um I, to each his own, I feel like just be you. And 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 if you get my attention, it's a hit or miss. You know, either uh, you either spark my interest or you don't. I, I don't think I have a necessarily. Just don't dis just don't come off disrespectful, um, you know, creepy or anything. You know, <laughs> just just like like I always tell my my male listeners, put women in a friend zone. It's like mm-hmm. talk to them like you talking to one of the homegirls. Talk to her like you're not even sexually attracted to her. You know what I'm saying? All right. Take take out it like helps. it helps. It helps. It's like you know, I meet somebody, I go on a date, and that they, they send me a dick pic. Just like just send yeah. me a dick pic. L- like, listen, listen, I, I, listen. Yeah, I tell dudes like, dude, listen, sending a t- a dick pic should be a treat. God damn it, right. you know, it should be a treat. It shouldn't be automatic. And I tell I tell my male listeners that you shouldn't mac from the waist. You should mac from the face. So it, it's about <laughs> how. It's, a, it's about how you talk to a woman and how you treat her. And a lot of dudes, they talk themselves out of pussy. They the the, the chick may want to fuck him the first night, but because he's so gung ho to fuck her that she's like, "Yo, you you so thirsty, you too thirsty for me. I don't want to fuck." I'm that guy too. The, you know the, the ones I can't stand is the guys that be talking about everything they have. Oh, I got this. I got that. I don't care. Tell me about your characteristics. <laughs> Tell me about. What makes you a person? Well, I want to fuck with Listen, you. Listen, I, 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 I want to know your mental state, goddammit, because I don't yeah, want a chick who's crazy as bad shit. Right. And I, what I you know, showing me I don't like? What you say? What you're showing me I don't like. You you, you sound so materialistic and, and, and you probably don't have all this shit you're telling me you're having. Like, you're trying to impress me too much. You know, when people got it, they don't, they don't want to tell you. When people got it, they don't flaunt it because... Exactly. They they, they 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 on some Prince Hakeem shit, you know. They are they are popper, but they really a prince, and they don't want you to know that they are prince. They want to see that if you if you're in love with the popper, 
You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, yeah. Really like that. Um, yeah. So you know, lady, lady Carline. Yes, sir. Oh shit! I love how you say that. A lady. Oh shit! The swingers after dark with the one and only Wavy and Lady Caroline. <laughs> oh shit! She yo, she frisky as fuck. Like she's sexy. She's beautiful. She got a nice body. Her body's banging. She got a, a smart, mind. So smart and intelligent. Like damn! Like I gotta get to the to the carnal. I gotta get to the animalistic point first. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the first thing I saw you, so I, I wanted to get in your head so I could fuck your mind. But yeah, you know, yeah. she's she's smart and southern, and she's resilient. You know, she's persevered. She got, you know, she's she got a good head on her shoulders. No pun intended. She got a good head on her shoulders to give good head. Ow. So, you know, but, but, but yeah, but you know, but but you know all bullshit aside, you know when, when I come when I come back home, I want to take you out to dinner. We don't even have to fuck, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of course, I just want to you know. I, I know we don't have to. You don't have to tell me. Oh shit! Oh wait 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 wait! Time out. Are you are you trying to flex on me on my fucking show? Are you trying to flex on me on my show? I'm I'm I see. See, I'm, I'm giving you. I'm I giving. See see I'm, see. I'm giving you the respect, but no no. But I'm letting you know. I'm verbalizing it because there's no pressure with, with me. Because, 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 always got to plan A to Z, baby. So listen, let let me let me tell you something. Re, like I remember when I went out, I saw my last fling. We went out to we went out to you know we went out to lunch. I treated her and whatnot, and she didn't want to give me the pussy. I said, mm-hmm. cool. I did not cry about it. I did not bitch about it. But when I went back to my hotel. I called up some other chick who was local and she gave me the pussy. So That's I, great. I tell my fa- conversation to see. Is that options are a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? So if this chick don't give you the pussy, don't cuss her out. Don't call her all That's types why of like names. My single life, huh? You know? That's why I like my single life. Exactly. So if Carline don't give me the pussy, best believe I'm not gonna trip. I'm I'm gonna say she's missing out on something. She's missing out on good dick. So I'm gonna call her some other chick so I can give her this dick dick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so, right. So 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 what do you so what do you see what do you see yourself doing in a swingers lifestyle? Like uh, uh, <laughs> I, I like to watch. Nah, when you, you know oh, okay. But listen, we listen, we're gonna talk offline because I'm I, I wanna be I wanna be your mentor. You want to yes. be my mentor? Yeah, yeah I want to take I you under. I can use some mentorship in this lifestyle. Yeah, I want, <laughs> I want to take you under my wing. And of course, you know, I, I'm going to say this again. No strings attached. Because you got to say that nowadays. Because people got ulterior motives. And when I say yeah. no strings, I, I know you say a lot of dudes say that. But when I say there's no strings attached, there's really no strings. Because I can get pussy anytime I want to. You know what I'm saying? That's right. not me being arrogant. That's just real talk. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. So, but. Yeah, so, you know, I respect you as a woman. You know, I know I talk my shit on this podcast, but at the end of the day, we all we got. And I respect you as a person and as a, as a woman. You feel I me? You. Of course. But, you know, keep going. And when you, when I'm you, um. smile now. My face are hurt me. <laughs> yeah, because we, we got to be your protector. You know what I'm saying? The men got to protect the woman, baby. So. You know what happened to me recently? What? I went on a. It well, it wasn't really a date. I was going to karaoke and it was far, so I didn't really want to drive. And this motherfucker said, Oh, I want to come with you. And I was like, Okay, cool, because you know, I don't really want to drive so great. So, you know, like <clears throat> after he asked me this question, I know it was over. He was like, Ask me if I'm single. I said, You know, I'm talking to somebody. And he was like, now he's asking me for gas money. He's like, how much I got for gas? And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I got my money. Like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, you know. So I gave him gas money. I gave him $30. <clears throat> we stopped at a gas station. I pulled some money, gave him $30. He didn't buy any gas, by the way, because he didn't really need it. He was just being an ass. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went to the karaoke, had a good time, and we go back. He's like, oh, he's got a... Um, he wanted to feed his, let his dog out or some shit or whatever. It's a wee hours of the morning. So I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't got no problem. But, you know, in my head, I know you're trying to, 
get me in a spot where you feel like you could try to get some pussy, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so get to the apartment. He deals with his dog, clean his dog shit up. He got the dog locked up in the bathroom and shit. Clean his dog up and shit. Know that he's done. Now he's trying to, you know, mess around with me. And I'm like, you know, I'm ready to go. Like I'm ready to go home. He was like, oh, you know, asking me like, oh, I got a man controlling me and shit. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm ready to go. He said he wanted to stop to defend your dog. I love animals. Cool, good. Now I'm ready to go. Motherfucker will be like, if I'm on my period, I'm like, yeah, I'm on my period. Oh, he got mad. He don't <laughs> want to take me home. I'm like, I called the Uber. I got out of that bitch so fast. I left my damn keys and my jacket. <laughs> damn. So so you you were so much in a hurry that you left the shit that you need. <laughs> I left my that I saw him in the Uber. Uber starts driving. And I'm like, oh fuck. He was like, what's wrong? I'm like, I left my fucking keys and my jacket. He's like, do you want me to turn back? I'm like, fuck it. I'm so mad at this point. I was like, shit. You know, and motherfucker took two days to keep about my fucking car keys and shit. But I got it back eventually. But you know what? But motherfucker. So so he, so he was that petty that he didn't want to give you your, your car keys back? Yeah, being a shit. I was like, just leave my shit at the police station or somewhere and I go pick it up, right? And then he left it at some bar. I'm like, <laughs> hey, why you didn't want to give him the pussy? Because I don't just throw my pussy out because I have a pussy that. No, 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 no. Don't give me that shit. So what was it about him that you didn't want to give him a pussy? I didn't like him like that. He talked too much. He's like, talk, he's one of them that talk about the shit he got. Oh, I got this. I got that. Money, money, money. But you asking me for fucking gas. Who talk about they got millions and asking somebody to buy them gas that you don't even need? Like, the fuck? <laughs> but, um... <laughs> and then, when I didn't want to give him pussy, talk about the drink he bought me drink. I'm like, nigga, you bought me one drink that I was going to pay for and you, you volunteered to pay for. Like, what the fuck? You some whack-ass nigga. Wacky, 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 a motherfucker. <laughs> Fellas, that, that's a prime example of what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you if he would have praised cars right, you would have gave him some pussy, you know? Yeah. So, maybe. <laughs> so, give, give, give my listeners your information, where they could find you, your OnlyFans, your Instagram, and all that good stuff. Okay, well, you can find me on OnlyFans. It's Expose, Lady Caroline Expose. Expose with Lady Caroline. <laughs> spell, Expose spell. With Lady Caroline, X P O S E D. Um, on Instagram, you can find me at simply S M S I M P L Y Caroline Brown. That's C A R L I N E, and everybody can spell Brown. Um, you, my fan page is the Lady Caroline. That's where I post all my sexy hot body pics. <laughs> and Caroline Creatives, where I post stuff that I do. Um, that bitch Caroline is my decent profile because you know I'm a, you know I'm a soldier too, right? You you don't know that. <laughs> no shit, she's a soldier. Okay, okay. I'm an army girl. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I, I just want to let you know I don't shoot blanks, so. You know, I don't I don't shoot blanks. You feel me? Um, yeah. I'm a hungry girl. Wait, wait, so 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 wait, so when when we meet up, I want you to wear army for the army for tea thongs, camouflage thongs. You feel me? Bite me. If you bite me, we are it. Okay, so so what's your size? Medium. I got you, baby. I got okay. you. Yeah. Your wish is my command, your highness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, simply Caroline Brown, Lady Caroline. I don't really do Twitter, or Snapchat, or none of that bullshit. I'm about my money and I really got time for social media. Facebook is the Lady Caroline. I got some fake page, so if it doesn't have a lot of followers or you know, it's not me. Oh, that, that um, means you popping when you have a fake page, that means you popping. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah over the years i've always had problem with that it's annoying i've had people try to convince me that they're me <laughs> crazy Weirdo. um i know it was a little irritating <laughs> like how do you argue with somebody else trying to tell you that they're you 
Mm, I feel you, baby. Oh, it was stressful. Um, I've had somebody made profile of people. I've gotten threats. Um, I've had people talk to me crazy because people made fake profiles of me, get money out of them, phone cards and stuff like that. I've met nice people through that. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, Caroline Brown, Lady Caroline, that's me. And so you can find me on OnlyFans. And if you find me on Simply Caroline Brown, it kind of links you to everywhere. My YouTube, this, that, 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 whatever. And that's oh simply, God. and that's simply Carol, it's simply Carline Brown. Like Carline, that's it. C A R L I N E. Okay. Okay. And plug in that OnlyFans again. Hey, um, hold on. I, I'm going to make sure I give the right information. <laughs> it is exposed with Lady Caroline. Yes. And- if it's not E X P O S E D. He didn't tell me that I would need to do this, so I wasn't prepared and I don't really know my health. This is all good. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, don't be surprised if you see me on X and you know Lady Carol Caroline exposed, fucking the shit out of her. You feel me? And fucking all seven holes or all nine holes, depending on how she acts. You da 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 dig. And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, Nassan, baby. Check out my website at www.nassanblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, Fuck. Yes, you heard right, Fuck, F U C K. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBooks, Google Play. Go get it and make you say, uh, na 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 na. Yes, baby. I'm going to need my signed copy. Okay, I don't need an ebook. I need a signed copy. I got you. I got you, babe. And shoot me an email at Swing. Special, so special, so special. Yes, you are. You very special. And shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up with any questions or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. Dig. And on that note, until next time, peace. And what we going to do when we link up, Carline? We're going to swing. We gon' fuck. <laughs> <laughs>